Lyle Thompson here with Thompson Brothers Lacrosse, here to give you guys another tip on dodging. It's an important part of the game. You have the space, you have the time, you want to dodge and create an opening for a good shot or for an opportunity for your teammates. One of the things I like to focus on is just that first step, creating separation so you can get a good hard shot off or get your hands free so you can get the best shot possible. With a split dodge, you want to start off on your opposite hand or whatever hand you want to free up, all right? So if you want to free up your right hand, you want to start in your left. If you want to free up your left, start in your right. I like to shoot with my right hand, so I always start in my left hand. And I'm using this line here for my three-step process, all right? So I want, to, I want to take a step here, take a smaller step here, and my big step is going to come here so that I can convince my defender that I'm going to go this way. Once he takes a step that way, I open up, and I have a free alley to go down for my shot all right, so I'm going to show you guys here in, in full speed. You come, start on this side. But you really want to exaggerate that step because it's going to help make it a better, a better juke when you're in game or when you're in practice, when you're practicing it. All right, so the more you exaggerate that step, the, more it's, the better it's going to work come game time. So here we go. This time I'm just going to keep it in my right hand and dodge to my right hand. I like to do this right around 25 times a day before my shooting and before my workout just to get some conditioning in. You do this 25 times a day, it'll elevate your dodging game.